forth and Welcome to another episode of Soy San Antonio Football. Here's live from San Antonio, Texas, Blossom Stadium. Scott, welcome back, buddy. We missed you. I missed you too, man. And we have actually a really good, a really nice, special surprise today. Joining us for this beautiful soccer game on a Sunday afternoon, where it's going to be our San Antonio Athenians taking on Houston TTI. Michael Reed, sir, how are you? Thank you for joining us today. I know you had a long trip. From Colorado, but you're here in San Antonio. You're back in your hometown, buddy. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming. Thanks, thanks for being here with us. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Straight from the airport. <laughs> yeah, straight from the airport. Right on to the next one. Thank you so much. <laughs> awesome. Nah, no, man. Anything for soccer. And uh, you know, we're, we're so glad you come come here to join us. We know how huge of a soccer supporter and how much we love soccer, especially when it comes down to women's soccer and in our own area and how much you promote that. So we thank you so much for being here with us. Hey man, first experience here at the WPSL. How do you see the environment here, man? You know, I'm, I'm actually really impressed with uh, the field, the fans. I mean, what you guys have up here is pretty cool. Uh, just the whole presentation is actually pretty professional in terms of you know women's soccer in, uh, in the States. Actually, I like it a lot. It looks like a good field to play on. Uh, we'll see how the play goes and go from there. Yeah, like. absolutely, man. You nailed it. It's one of the best teams in our league. And just for a little information and background, we play in the WPSL. We have the, the third leading scorer in the country right now, and Allison Fahey. She's just knocked in her seventh and eighth goals, respectfully. Um, last Friday, uh, we had one of our young uh, young ladies, number 100, Marlene Campa, score a first half hat trick dude, um, out there in Houston. And they are currently sitting in third place in the South Southwest Division. Correct. Which is really good for a team that just came out of nowhere. Yeah, and this is a huge matchup just because uh, Houston TTI is actually a team in second place right now. So to get these three points and be able to catch up to them would be a huge win. Absolutely. Both of these two teams, Houston TTI and Athenians, in a battle for second, Mike, right now. And, and the, the top WPSL. two PSL. Top two teams advance so that number two spot's very important with Lone Star being kind of the head of the pack exactly. so far this year. We do have Lone Star um, currently undefeated. They had one tie. Uh, the Athenians lost to them 3-0 to zero in Austin. That'll be a rematch. That'll be the game finale, the season finale this year here at Blossom. So stay tuned for that. Lots of news coming out. We're going to leave you here to enjoy some of our pre-game festivities. You see both players meeting there. Um, for those of you that uh, are wondering who Houston TTI is, they are actually the second team division from uh, the NWSL Houston Dash. As a matter of fact, they have about four players that play for Houston Dash that are playing for Houston TTI, which is uh, pretty impressive because we Athenians went in there again and beat them 2-0 to zero in Houston. One of the people I want to feature there is watch out for the keeper, Miss Haley. She is one tough keeper. She showed that um, for Houston TTI, she showed that toughness against them, kept them in the game. Could have been worse. Yeah, a lot worse. But a lot worse for them, but she kept a lot of them out. She is one of our favorites. Uh, in my opinion, any woman that serves in the military is my hero. And Miss Haley there is a United States Marine Corps, United States Navy oh, wow. veteran. Also in the crowd tonight, Scott, is General Salinas. One of the few female generals in the army is here with us in the stands tonight. So that's awesome. It's a good crowd coming out so far. The people see, still are still coming in. So and that's the environment that we find ourselves in today, Michael. It's a pretty cool thing to have. A lot of loyal support, a lot of military support, and uh, you know everything seems very positive. Momentum, goal scorers, all of it should be a, should be a fun match tonight. Yeah, and you'll see these girls get really physical. That's one thing that we've known about the WPSL. You don't see a whole lot of flopping or diving or anything like that. These girls like to go shoulder to shoulder and challenge every 50-50 ball. Hopefully the ref lets them play and uh, let the girls just get on with the game. Yeah, we should have kickoff here in just a few minutes. She just took off the gloves, so I think they suck her in. They are, huh? Yeah, it looks like they're gonna start off with somebody else uh, for Houston TTI. We Again, not really given a roster for Houston yeah. TTI, so, so it's hard for us to comment on their players. It goes. Yeah. We know some of the few ones that have interacted with us over the season. And again, we just want to thank you for just joining us on all our, uh, for the first time, going live on Twitter, on Periscope, 
going live on our YouTube channel and going live on Facebook. Simultaneously. So we are reaching everybody we can. And we're about to get up to uh, our our whistle here. So if you're watching us on YouTube, thank you for tuning in. If you're watching us on Facebook, thank you for tuning in. If you are watching us on Periscope, thank you for tuning in. It's going to be a good game. It's going to be one for the record books here. Two of the top team teams. NWSL. You ready for the kickoff, Scotty? I'm ready, man. I'm excited. I see Allison Fahey up top. Marlene Kampa. Becca that's, Mays out here on the wing. That's right. It's a little change. You got Christina Nunes out playing over on the left wing. Becca Mays playing over in the right. Into the middle, you have Nicole Galan on the big return. Shelby Miller back there playing on that... Uh, center defensive mid mid position back here and our back four who have been incredible Michelle Hogan up on the left back Followed by the two towers down there by Trina Ferguson and Maggie Miller and Anna Campa Referee getting his watch set and we have whistle And that's one of the players to watch there, number 100, Madeline Campa. She had a hat trick, as we said, against Austin. But here comes Houston TTI, showing the number two. And good stop there by Trina Ferguson. It's a great tackle. Plays it out wide there. Christina Nunes now with the ball, going into the middle. A little misreading there. Trina was able to recover. Out there to Madeline Campa. Watch the wheels on this young lady. She can go. Here comes Becca Mays, the captain for tonight. With a lot of skill and a lot of experience. Moving on to the inside, trying to play off a player there. Still with the pressure on the ball. Madeline Campa still trying to fight for it. Still pressuring for it. There's Becca Mays pressuring onto the ball. And that's what you want to see every time. That's what the Athenians are known for, Scott. Yeah, putting that pressure on the defenders, challenging up top, not giving them any space. Kind of that full pitch press like we've seen all season. You see a lot of fight in the team as it is. Just the first few moments here. Tackle from the center back. Tackles up here from the wingers and the forward. A lot of fight in the team. It's what you like to see, a oh, lot of absolutely. action. absolutely. This is going to be, you're going to be seeing that all night long. There's Ms. Michelle Hogan with that Ooh, step, that over. step over. Gets off one. Moving up there looking for Madeline Campa out in the wing. But already, one thing you'll notice, uh, Mike, is that these girls can go quickly from the backfield straight up yeah, into the yeah. forward position and get that score, to get that goal. It's incredible the speed these girls have. Transition's a big element of the game, and it'll be uh, there'll be a lot of space, it seems like. There's good Becca Mays with a good, and there's Marlene Campa, waiting, working for a shot, challenge in there to the middle, good take out there by the center back. Allison Fahey on the chase. Trina Ferguson trying to recover, and there's Trina Ferguson with a good tackle. That's great cover from the center back. You know, right fullback gets taken out, gets drawn out from the attacking player. Center back has to cover. Great, that's a great tackle, great stuff. And that's one thing about this defense that reminds me so much of the San Antonio FC defense is that these girls will not allow anything back in there. They will drop back and cover. Just surrender. like you said. There's Ana Campa, left back, putting that pressure on that forward. It's going to be a throw in for Houston TTI. And for those saying that the uh, Facebook live feed has no zoom, switch on over to our YouTube channel and you can find it there. It's a long throw. That's a long throw in there. Houston TTI still with it in the box. Defense still there. Nicole Galan there working into the middle of Alison Fahey to help out. Plays and it'll it off. be a kickoff. Smart decision from the, you know, from the Athenians kicking it off to get, create a goal kick. Yes, unfortunately, here let's just explain when it comes down to the Facebook live feed, we have to use a 1080 wide angle cam while our YouTube and Periscopes are using a full H1920 1080 zoom. Uh, we are working with two cameras, one software, but we're trying to bring the best of the action as much as we can. Shell Hogan plays it there to Nunez and carries there's it up. Hogan. Good give and go. A little bit too much of an effort there for Hogan, but the defense, there's Maggie Miller right into the middle. Oh, slaps one right through. There's one Kirby on one. Over to the center, nobody there for the cross to help out Houston TTI. Becca okay. Mays out to kick up, looking for Allison Fahey. Good throw out. Not bad, not bad. I mean, uh, you see the home side that want to play out. They're willing to expose it, willing to take chances. But, you know, you're going to see good soccer and uh, good maturity from some of the players. Unlucky with the touch getting out, but, you know, it looks like they're just warming up. The game just started. They're just getting comfortable. It's a fast-paced game for just coming out off the gates. There's Ana Campa looking for Marlene Campa, the sister. And there's number 100. 
plays it off. It's a good and ball. it's going to be a throw-in for the Athenians. Those balls are great. It puts a lot of pressure on their fullbacks, on their center backs, and now you know they have an opportunity up in the attacking half. And uh, Anacopla's had some deep throw-ins here herself we've seen so far this season. Let's see if she can get this one into the box. Good Lord. And there's that throw-in <laughs> right into the keeper. Keeper takes a bring down. But yes, you will see that. A lot of throw-in. A lot of ladies who can get that ball right into the box. That's a, that's a dangerous throw and Not many people can have that type of distance on their throw and It creates a set piece and creates opportunities in the attack. Anacampa stepping up into Nicole Galan. Throws it back. Swings it over to Michelle Hogan. Michelle Hogan's about to show that speed. There's her pushing the ball up, pressuring. There's Michelle Hogan still with it. Takes off one defender. Allison into Fahey. Allison Fahey. Out to Shelby, Shelby Miller. Swings it out to Anacampa. Good ball movement so far, gentlemen. Crosses it into the box. There's Madeline. She just over her head out of bounds for a goal kick. A lot better idea. Good idea right there. Yeah, good back post ball. You know, if you get more runners in or, you know, just the timing, that could be a goal. And that's what we've been seeing a lot that we've been missing in the road games, uh, Scott, is a lot of that pressure. They came together. They came down to a 3-0 loss against Austin, where we weren't seeing many events. Uh, I'm sorry, against uh, Lone Star Lone out Star there. out of Austin, yeah. And... We're seeing a lot more of that Athenian pressure that we are known for. And there's Abilitated, there's House and Fahey showing this keep. But again, number 44, she is big for Houston TTI. It's going to take a lot to get past that young lady. Yeah, both of their goalies, you know, had their hands full in the first match and now in this one. Here comes Houston TTI. Good kick in there by the keeper to move the ball up. And here comes Houston TTI. Shakes off. Right by one defender, into the middle, Maggie Miller. Right into the middle to stop that center ball. Becca Mays onto the middle, Christina Nunez pressuring onto the mids. Crossed by Houston TTI, Can Gabriela Lopez. Lopez. Secure and confident in the backfield. Yeah, she's had an outstanding se season so far, quite a few clean sheets on her record. Ana Campa, looking for Madeline. There's Allison Fahey right through her leg. But there's Shelby Miller stepping up into the plate, moving forward, looking for Christina Nunes out in the wing. And as we can see, this keeper has played him before, and she knows very much that those wings are going to be trouble for her all night. Yeah, she's going to have to come out. She can't sit back there on her line, or they're going to put one past her. No, the goalie's ready to come out. you got to be wary of that if you're playing those through balls. Maybe go wider rather than trying to go more central. You see the away team, their goal seems to be taking out wide, crossing. So that could be a danger if they're getting numbers in the box. You gotta take that away, but not bad start. Not a bad start. And there's Trina Ferguson. Again, looking for number 100, Marlene Campa. Trying to push up. And you can tell, you can hear the Houston TTI bench fired up down there. I mean, cheering on to their teammates down there. Yeah, there's no love lost between these two teams. And if you hear the panting there, and we see that, that is Odin. He is our honorary <laughs> service dog up here. We love Odin. He can always hang out with us. So yes, we are pet friendly here at Soy Sav. Here comes Houston TTI. Shelby Miller takes that one away. A little shove in the back there. Ref gonna go ahead and call that one for an Athenian. Good body. Appreciate That's it. a good body by the Holy Maid. Secure the ball. I mean, leaves him no choice but to foul him. Played out wide there to Anacampa. Nice the job by Anacampa. to Allison Fahey. Oh, unlucky. Nice play it back, right yeah. idea. That's a right idea. Ball off the official there. And Houston TTI now on the attack as they come down into the box. Tries to play it to the middle. Play on. Referee says play on. Maybe just didn't want to give him a PK that early. Uh, I don't know. That looked like a PK. <laughs> Maybe she got a little ankle. We kind of heard something up here in the back cave. Obviously, they have better views from down there, but I mean, we'll that four it. did it. Yeah, we'll take it. The four <laughs> did a good job to, to get in the box, draw a little defender, get the move around. Just unlucky for them not to get the shot off, and even more so not the PK. But well done on the defensive end to stay tight. Um, we'll see. I mean, Instant replay? <laughs> <laughs> We're working on that. We'll get there eventually. We can get to that VAR there. Right? And that number 21, if I remember correctly, she was one of their main attackers in the first match. She was. She really, really she was. Offsides there. That's not a bad combo from the away team. we got to start getting pressure on him. Otherwise, that's going to keep being dangerous. Yeah, yes. no, yeah, you said it right, Scott. She was dangerous in the other game. She was uh, attacking and moving forward. I mean, it's just one of those things where they need to watch out for her. 
I believe she is um, possibly one of the Dash players they moved down. one of the Dash players. I can't remember what country she plays for, but she is an international player for Houston TTI. There's Allison Fahey trying to control. And these two forwards up here, Scott, I like this combo up here with Fahey and Kappa up at mid. Looks like they came out with a 4-4-2 like they did against uh, Houston South Select, which again brought them five goals last year. Right. And they beat Houston South Select 8-0 to when they played them here at Blossom in their second match, their first uh, win here at home. Correct. Anacampa heads that one back. Gabrielle Lopez going to come out and scoop that up. And a big mention, um, we're missing Lisa Tomenendal, one of the bigger center backs in the backfield, stepping in. She was a player of the match in a very key game out in Louisiana Shreveport where she stepped in. She was a player of the game and did not allow Louisiana Shreveport to score a goal. Stepped into some big shoes, and I'm pretty sure, as Mr. Johnson can tell us from SAFC, it's hard to go from a one big starter to just jumping into the game, step up. Yeah, absolutely. He had a couple of nice saves last night there towards the end after Restrepo got that red, but throw in there for Houston TTI. These girls are getting feisty. Yeah. Getting in it. You're going to bring it by four. Even better from the holding hand. Uh, that's great work from her. That's what she has to do, and she does it well. Ooh. Again, and I forgot to mention, Shelby Miller coming back from a two-game. Uh, she had to sit out, had a good concussion against a lone star about three weeks ago. This is her first game back. Already, you can see how much they missed her and how good she is in the backfield center defensive mid. She's a big presence back there. There's Christina Nunez from Allison Fahey. Nunez back out to Trina. Trina looking up. Looking Michelle for Michelle Hogan. Hogan. It's the right idea. I mean, they they have the ideas there now. Like, you know, can you connect the passes? This is the time where you know you start kind of make your statement on the game, start controlling the ball, start getting other players the ball, and uh, moving forward from there. Starting to see a lot more pressure from the Houston TTI midfield, moving yep. that ball forward. They're getting they're getting a lot of numbers high up, so they're putting pressure on the back line, forcing us to forcing us to play. Now, if we can connect out, that'd be even better. Yeah, you're right. They're only leaving two backs and everybody else forward, but that could be a good grounds for a counterattack yeah. for this SA Athenians team. It looks like it's going to be a goal kick for Houston TTI. For San Antonio Athenians. I'm sorry, for San Antonio Athenians. <laughs> Moving into the 11th minute already of play here. A little humid. It just got done raining earlier, but there is a breeze on the pitch, so we'll see how these girls adjust to some of that climate. Ball played deep there. Trina lets it go. Back out to Gabriela Lopez. Played out wide to Michelle Hogan. See that step over again. And that's one thing Michelle Hogan's known for is for speed and moving that ball right up into the middle. Some of the key things that are needed to work here, so far when it comes down to the attack side uh, for the Athenians, Michael, what are the things that you would like to see for the Athenians moving forward up there? You've already seen a couple of challenges. I mean, they're they're a very battle-oriented team. You know, they, they're ruthless in that. What I'd like to see is I'd like to see the forwards stay high and maybe get our midfielders higher up and then let the center backs and hold them in distribute, right? I think our forwards are coming back pretty deep to get the ball. I think our midfielders are holding because of their pressure. But, I mean, the outlet is in the counterattack, like you said, and, um, you know, the switch is on. Um, we just need to connect passes going forward, and I think we'll be successful. And speaking of those connect passes, there's one mistake there. Again, the right idea, though, the switch ball, exactly. just unlucky in the execution. And that's one thing Trina Ferguson has. It's great vision for the field as a center back. That's one thing you want to see, a center back that knows where all her players are. There's a giveaway from the Athenians. That's a mishap. There's Shelby there Miller. Looking right up there, looking for Allison Fahey or Madeline Kampa. Right idea, right idea. We just need to connect those passes, right? If we connect those passes and we put you know, more pressure on him, and it's a time to breathe for us. We're taking a lot of heat, and maybe whenever we go forward, if we can have an option off the forward, then that would be more ideal. But, um, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. Opportunities, we just need to connect. When, like you said, playing that ball, that was maybe offsides. Nope, they're going to let that one go. Oh, late call. Late call. But like you say, again, that ball kind of played more into the middle instead of out into the corners on those counterattacks with that keeper coming out the way she is. I mean, it's up for debate whether you'd want to throw in or have the keeper get the ball and take that chance on the forward going through. But, um, you know, they're the ones playing the game. We're the ones observing. <laughs> <laughs> Easy to be a critic, right? Easy to be a critic. Good challenge there by Becca Mays, headed out by the Houston TTI. See, in this area of the field, I'd like to see him control it just a bit more. I would agree with that 100%. There's been a lot of giveaways from the Athenians there in the middle. 
A little bit more control. Take your time. Yeah. Look for the open player out in the middle. We're moving forward. Gonna call a handball you there, can see like. what the other team's trying to do. They're trying to counter real quick, very direct, very forward, and they get numbers up. So if we can keep the ball, maybe have them drop off, and then take the game from there. Still 0-0 zero, zero in the 14th minute. Seen a couple chances by both squads. Here it comes. One thing we see from this young lady here is that she can get it right into the box and see how the Athenians respond. That's Trina Ferguson. Decent ball. Well done by the Athenians. Nunes, there's Marlene Campa controlling it into the middle. Good run. Ball, pressuring the ball. There's oh. Marlene Campa looking for Nicole Galan. Good idea. She was coming off that left wing there. I mean, I like that. I'd rather see that. Runners come from behind. Chris lost base. Well done. And there's Michelle Hogan with that speed coming right back. In play, let the let the girls get back on defense, set yourselves, make it easy. Here comes Houston TTI trying to get back up to the board. These young ladies are hungry. They want to win. They have revenge on their mind, Scott. As said, we said earlier, last time these ladies played, San Antonio went to Houston and on their day on their debut in front of a nice 200, 300 crowd, give them a 2 0 whooping down there. 2 to 1, I believe. 2 it to was, 1 yeah, whooping, yeah. Yeah. 1 2 to 1, but there was some weird uh, overturn Correct. contest yeah, going there on a, there. There was a protest, which we'll, we'll still we'll talk about that later about in halftime, but uh, from what we know, it play on. Yeah. And until we get WPSL and United States Soccer Federation intervene with that and give us a definite. Uh, no verdict comment. On that, yeah, <laughs> and definite verdict on that, then we will move forward. For right now, two and three in the standings, top two go on to the playoffs, yep. and that's what they're fighting for. Yeah, and a win here as the standings currently stand would give them 18 and leave Houston TTI with 22, so it'd be a lot closer. Correct. Their forwards are putting a lot of pressure on our backs right now, and you can say there's a nice little rivalry between their forward and our center backs, oh, fighting quite a bit. Oh, you can see that, yeah, absolutely. No love lost between these two. <laughs> Here we go, first corner kick of the game, awarded to Houston TTI. Let's see what the capitalized. There's the kick in, throw in, over the bar. Couple girls down on the ground after that challenge. That's a tough corner to defend when all the girls are in the box, you know, defenders have to go there, Chris lost space on the six yard box. Girls crossing, crashing. It's a lot of chaos in there, especially for a goalie, or if you're a goalie. You can't see what's going on. You can't see. There's a lot of bodies around. Yeah. It's hard to move. Here comes Houston TTI again. Good ball movement. Just a little bit too much of a touch there. Gabriela Lopez comes out. Well done. Well done. Quickly, securely. I would say at this point, we've already got past the first 15-minute jitters. Time to calm down, collect ourselves, and start to move forward. Yeah. yeah. The away team's definitely starting to get more comfortable. Now it's on us to kind of start dictating the game if we can. A lot of space being open. We just got to utilize it. Here comes Ana Campa. We know that she can get those throw-ins deep into the pitch. We Allison will see Fahey what they're going to go two. in there for. Looking again for Marlene Campa. Out again on Houston TTI Blue Bonnets. Oh, just work your way up, right? Yeah. Take what you can get. Hey, he again looking for Marlene Campa. Marlene tries to flick it over the defender, unlucky. Thank you everyone for tuning in. If you're watching on our YouTube channel, please subscribe. We're trying to get those 100 viewers so we can create our own URL. Out to Nicole Galan. Nicole Galan with a player on. Well done. Back out to Shelby Miller. Yeah. Switches it over to Michelle Hogan. And that's the cross ball we need to see. Michelle Hogan off with one into the middle. Christina Nunes down there. Into the box! Cleared out that's by just, That's just good movement. That's good ball work. Well done all around. And there's the first challenge there by the Athenians and a good run and a good challenge there by the Houston TTI defender, Marlene Campa. Back out to Nunes. Nunes. Back out to Marlene Campa. And it'll be another throw in for the Athenians. A little bit more pressure up top this time, Scott. Yeah, I think that's the first time we've really seen him inside the box with the ball here in the last, you know, 10 minutes at least. There's that big throw in, looking for Allison Fahey. Nobody in there in the middle to recover. And it's gonna look like it's gonna be a one-on-one, -on -one. Trina Ferguson. Nice cover, back out to Gabriela Lopez, the keeper. 
to the middle of the Shelby Miller, who's stepping in for Isabel Valdez down there. Ana Campa recovering well, and here comes Allison Fahey. On the opposite foot, just a little bit She too knows, much. you can tell she knows. Yeah. She <laughs> played that, it's like, that. darn. Yeah, she knew it. Little it's a good build much. up though. It's a good build up from the goalie to the midfield going wide. Good Again, control. Holding it there in the middle, letting numbers build up. Yep, yep, very good. There's Michelle Hogan again. She's going to be challenged all day on that right side. Seems like they love to come down that side a lot. Yeah, we haven't seen too much action over here on the uh, right. <laughs> no. Not much, you're right. We haven't seen much. Everything's been coming down that far side. Far yeah. side out there. Trina Ferguson with a good. <laughs> Uh, slide there, no call, no foul. And Trina Ferguson, we know how she can play. She is tough as nails, and she will challenge everything that comes her way. Christina Nunes there, challenging three players on in the Houston, and finally a foul called against the Athenians. Little trip from behind, be a uh, Houston TTI blue bonnet free kick. Coach has all his players over there on the sidelines starting to get warmed up. We may see our first substitution here soon. And for those of you folks trying to figure out the rules of WPSL, you can sub in and sub out as many times as you want Correct. in the WPSL. Here comes Houston TTI with a throw in, a kick in, right into the middle, and a compa there to get it. Nicole Galan lets Flips it go for it on Fahey. Fahey. Fahey, a little bit of slip there. Good recovery there to come back. And there's the center ball into the middle. Securely by Gabriela Lopez. Well done by the goalie to come and out. Here, Such confidence. Out, uh, Christina Nunes looking for Becca Mays. Becca Mays out to Michelle Hogan. And here she goes. She recovers well. Play her on. Here comes Michelle Hogan. Still with it. Looking out to the middle. Fahey. Fahey into the middle. Out to Marlene Campa. Stopped there by the center back. Yeah, she always put her body in front yeah. of her. Yeah. That's the only way you're going to stop Marlene or Fahey. You got to have to put a yeah. body in there. Got to give credit to the defenders for that. That's just smart defending. Absolutely. Staying high. Yep, yep. And there's Ana Campa again intercepting. It goes into 21 from Houston TTI. Looking for a shot on goal. Swings out wide. Christina Nunez there to clear it out. A little bit too far there, but Ms. Nunez out there to cover. Just have TTI for a throw in. Give a lot of credit to the left uh, winger for dropping for the left back. You know, that switch is key whenever you got numbers going forward. Don't want to get exposed on the transition. Yeah, and you see that a lot now. You'll see Michelle Hogan playing more up. They like to do that where they just kind of switch positions for a little bit. And very That's good observation. That's very smart. And we see a little scuffle down there. Officially and not wanting to give a call. It might look like it's going to be a throw-in now for Houston TTI. But there's Christina Nunes winning one back. Marlene Campa. Playing against three up there. That's a tough one when you're the lone forward. Especially yeah. with other options and you know, you don't want them to get out, but it's tough. Looks like they're all congregating more into the middle this time. There's Houston TTI going out wide again into the center. Miss hit there with the left. Gonna go out of bounds for a San Antonio Athenians goal kick. Seems that they all been uh, with the rivalry. You can see, you can feel the tents on the pitch. It seems like they're all now gathering toward more center now. Each one of them into nobody spreading the ball, just all of them massing into the middle there. Yeah, and you can hear the girls on the bench for the blue bonnets starting to get a little feisty too, cheering them on. Out to Michelle Hogan there with space. Plays it up there to Marlene Campa. There's Marlene. I like Back to that. Nicole Galan. Nicole Galan now loses it into the middle there. And it's a three-on-three three for Houston TTI. Here comes TTI, still with it. Takes a shot. Gabriela Lopez there securely watching the ball. Good keeping. It's a great save. It's a great save. I like the lead up into it. Um, I saw a midfield run going off from the four. That's what you want is as the ball gets in, options off. Uh, now if we can just a final product, final ball. And here comes Fahey. Very strong Fahey ball using that body, crosses well it over. Done. Into Becca Mays. Becca oh. Mays. Beautiful. Beautiful play, a lot better, well done. That is, that's amazing. Midfield runs, hard to track, great ball, and now we get a, we get a corner kick. That's great, that's good product. And here comes the Athenians, first corner kick. Also a sub from the away team, from the Houston. 
And here comes another sub. Well, the first substitution of the game goes to Houston TTI. And it looks like going from one middle to another midfielder. If I remember correctly, this young lady was the one who had that one chip over Ms. Lopez. For those wondering how the Blue Bonnet scored in Houston, it was basically a keeper's error. Short there by the Houston, uh, by Athenians. Recovering by Nunes. Out there to Fahey. Second chance here. Crosses it in. Looking for Becca Mays and a high kick there by Becca Mays. Ball played just a little bit behind her. Yeah, Couldn't really get to it. Not a bad idea. I think I would have liked to have seen her drive a little. She had about 10 yards of space. Drive, so draw a defender, maybe a short ball. Move forward into yeah. that. Press that box there. It's easier said than done whenever you have the view here. Correct. It seems like there's a lot of opportunities when you have so much space and play a good ball. So they're more than capable of doing it. Looks like there's a good crowd out here already on a Sunday, Scott. Yeah, well over a 1,000, I'd say, based well on the numbers over. we've seen before. And again, San Antonio Athenians drawing some of those big crowds. Anacampa, good defense there. It's good physicality. Using TTI going out. A little, a little bit too it. far there. Now time's a turn. Now it seems like Athenians are now pressuring the ball a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Still a lot of time in this first half. We're only in the uh, 20, going into the 25th minute, so we got about 20 minutes to go. So we'll see how the uh, tides maybe turn. Anacampa there with those long in throw-ins, looking for Mablin Campa. And again, Houston TTI trying to push that ball up, trying to move forward, trying to pressure that Athenian defense, trying to get a mistake yeah. off that defense. <clears throat> well, when it's as fast as Anacamp is, I don't think you're really going to play one buyer on a deep ball, but sometimes you know what happens. You also see the Athenians getting higher pressure up the field. It's rather than one forward, you see two press in, so it puts, you know, that pressure makes them go long, and it seems like our back line can cover it. Out to Alton Fahey. Nice little turn there by Alton Fahey. Moving forward, showing that physicality. Out to Becca Mays. Back out to Fahey. Becca Mays recovers. Fahey still with it. Nice win it. But that's one girl to watch her. The physicality she's got and the vision she's got on the pitch is incredible, Scott. Yeah, well, and her strike. You know, like we said, she's third right now in the w all of the WPSL for goals scored. Several assists as well. Habilitated there for Marlene Campa. Way to stick with it. She's trying to play on the player there. Marlene Campa still with the ball, taking her time, looking for an open space. Crosses one over. Into the middle. There's back Christina Nunes. Nicole Galan way back out there. Good idea to cross it. Found the two players out on the far side. Not bad, not bad. I mean, uh, it's hard to know when sometimes, you know, the winger's going to cross it. But uh, it was a good ball. Unlucky in terms of the two guys in the box. And hopefully get better product. Yeah, we've seen them working a lot on timing those runs and kind of working on those crosses to try and get each other down. Well done by the holding mid, just cleaning it up, taking the foul, we'll take the foul. Put it out of bounds there for San Antonio Athenians throw. Looks like Michelle Hogan's going to take this one. Throw there to Christina Nunez. Marlene Campa going to field this, flick this one on. Sounds out now, Scott. So that's gonna be a that's gonna be a factor out there. Yeah, that humidity should be setting in any second. Houston TTI into the middle. Only to throw right back into four. Whistle blown. Looks like a foul on the Athenians there. It'll be a kick, free kick for the Houston TTI team. The Athenians give on history this year. The next home match of your Athenians will be this Saturday, July first, six p.m. We will host the Austin Elites for a WPSL matchup right here at the Blossom Athletic Center. For tickets or more info, you can visit our purple merchandise tent or our website at sdathenianssc.com. Let's build the stadium. And as you just heard, our next two games, we only have two games remaining into the season this, uh, this WPSL. There's a long in. Good. Oh, there's a mistake there, but no! Gets back to make the save. Oh! Good recovery there by Gabriel Lopez. Threw that player right off her, her concentration. That's amazing. The goal is to react. I mean, that just shows, you know, that she never give up. She gets a second save. First, you know, first save didn't happen, but the second save was huge. Keeps yeah, them a 0-0 zero, zero tie. See the reaction from all the girls as well. All the defenders immediately reacted to get that. Well done by the defense. Good ball, that being said, good ball from the away team. That was, yes, correct. Good ball by the away team. That was one for the crossbars. 
Thank goodness for that. And again, that's the exact same way Houston scored in yeah, first, Houston yeah. um, on a mistake there by Gabriela Lopez. Ball played up there to Becca Mays down Becca the line. Mays. Becca Mays looking into the middle there from Malik Dapa, tracking back. Oh, it looks like tackle a slide tackle behind. from behind. Should be a yellow. And the here we are. Over. Job well done by the forward to turn. Take the foul. Yeah. Looks like maybe just a verbal warning, no card issued. As you can tell, that is also what we are seeing out on the pitch here. Referee there talking to both players. Hey, that should be the last one. Good warning. Next time, it's a booking. And yeah, that was number four for the Blue Bonnets. We've seen her and Marlene kind of going at it Back all night. Up. All right. And you're already starting to see here the Blue Bonnets trying to get into the head of the Athenians, trying to pressure them. And here comes Allison Fahey for the kick in. Short this time. And let's see if the Blue Bonnets can capitalize here. Looking up. There's Michelle Hogan to recover. And you can feel the tense down the, the intensity down on that pitch right now. It's getting a little bit physical. Michael Reed, welcome to WPSL soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's exciting. I mean, you know, the girls get to play a bit. They get to get physical. The game's physical. I mean, um, they get to do their rivalries. And I was a bit late that tackle, though. That was a very <laughs> I think maybe late he tackle. thought the referee thought advantage at first. Yeah. And then there they going on with it. And here we go, Coach Vita. There, Coach Vita. There, hey, hey, that was a late tackle. And there it is. Explaining, saying that's your first no warning. More. No more. Officials better get a hand on this one before it gets out of hand yeah. quickly. Can't let it get too sloppy. I mean, you know, the ball is close and all, but uh, whenever you're going in, leaving your feet to go into the tackle, you're missing it. That, that could be a yellow card, just like the one before. Trina Ferguson out there to Becca Mays. A little bit too much. Bounce out there. Shot. And there's Nicole Galan. Out to the wing to Christina Nunez. Nunez into the middle. Oh, and it looks like... That's the right call, that's the right call. Both went in, there's nothing keeper. malicious nothing about big. that. Both shaking it off. Job well done by the keeper to hang on to that. It's getting physical out there, yet, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good one. We're enjoying to watch this one up here. Getting into the 31st minute here, Scott. So far, the official has done a pretty good job to let them play. Now is starting to get those whistles before the card, which I like to see. At least he says, I know that you're getting a little physical. Next time, we're going to go to the books. You know, I kind of like that he's letting them play just a bit. I mean, uh, you want it to be physical. You don't want it to be malicious. So far, nothing's been out of the ordinary in terms of, uh, you know, slide tackles to the knees. It's all been going for the ball. Some have been late, but... In terms of the game of soccer, it's nice to see that they're getting, letting them get stuck in. Here we go for a San Antonio Athenians throw in. Flicked on there by the Athenians. Fielded easily by the Houston TTI. Oh, There's Fahey! There goes Fahey! On a bad mistake there! And a goal! By the Athenians! Allison Fahey! Put it in the back of the net! Go, 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 Michael Reed! Well done. Ford's got to smell it. She took a gamble. She took that chance. That's what Ford's do. Well done by the Ford. And a bad miscommunication there between the keeper and the defense from Houston TTI. And here we go, one to zero, Athenians, that's going to be fuel yeah. to the fire, my yeah. friend there. 32nd the minute. That's yeah. fantastic, great pressure from the four. That goes on, you know, from the back line, they feel it, made a mistake, took advantage, well done. Now, game on, let's see how the uh, TTI Blue Bonnets respond to this one. The pressure is on, they are losing away, and letting the Athenians slide into second place right now. Let's see how they respond. Here comes number four from the Blue Bonnets into the middle. Fielded there by Nicole Galan, cleared out by Anna, Ma or Anna Kampa. There's Shelby Miller with two on. Good ball moving, moving it back to Trina Ferguson. Shot on goal by Houston TTI out wide. Well, we'll see. We will see. We've been in those situations where you're losing to your rival one to zero right before the half. 
talk. Let's see how the Blue Bonnets respond here in the second half or how the Athenians either move back or keep the pressure going. Good game out here in the first half. 33 with 40 seconds here in San Antonio. San Antonio Athenians with the lead, 1-0. Becca Mays tracking back there, well done. Christina, er, Gabriela Lopez fields that one easily. And I believe Allison Fahey, didn't she have two goals away? She has two last, away goals. So that should give her 10, I believe, for the season now, because she was at seven. So with those two there against Houston South Select. No, um. Because Marlene Kampa had the hat trick and then didn't Fahey get the other two? No, that was Jay Bell oh. and uh, Abigail. Okay, my Hernandez. apologies. My apologies. Here yeah, comes that is Becca Mays. Into, no, Christina Nunes into the middle looking for Shelby Miller. And on good recognition there by the midfielder. No, she's got somebody there. It's Ana Kampa trying to get her on. Pump player. And a lot of physical, a lot of shirt pulling. And here we go. Jaw jacking back and forth. Shirt pulling. Official said, I saw that. Next time it'll be a call. And there they'll both go. Down there, and that's the kind of soccer you want to see. Player soccer, in my opinion. A little dangerous, but these girls, when they say kick like a girl, Michael Reed, they mean kick like a girl, sir. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and I like so far, there really haven't been any cards. You know, some officials get a little card happy where they just start throwing yellows out for every infraction, yeah, so. No, I mean, it takes away from the game whenever the officials kind of make it more about themselves rather than the players, so. Absolutely. It's good to uh, let the players play, get on with it. They're professional about it so far, nothing malicious, nothing crazy, and um, it's good. The game's physical. You gotta let it be physical. And the nickname is going viral, Ellie Goal, Ellie Goal, Ellie Goal. <laughs> Well, then by uh, by the six or by our number eight, Shelby Miller. Yeah, Shelby Miller, she just yeah. covers ground. She cleans it up. She gets the dirty work in. I like that. In time, she's very composed. I mean, it's a uh, it's a classic number eight. Well done. And again, Shelby Miller stepping in there for Miss Isabel Valdez, a Mexican international team member, uh, doing an outstanding job. Whether yeah. you put Isabel Valdez in the first half or Shelby Miller in the second half, and looks like Esau might be coming in. We see her already uh, warming up down there. Actually, she's at the sideline, ready to come in. And that's another player to look for when it comes down to the Athenians. The big center defensive mid down there already with three goals. Yeah, and she does such a great job possessing the ball kind of in the center of the field. You know, we've talked about that a little bit so far this first half. Normally, she's a starter, and she does a great job just controlling it and dishing it out. So that may be the reason why Coach Vita's looking to put her in now. Houston TTI looking to capitalize here, trying to equalize before Shell the Hogan. half. Nice little field Not a bad trick little move. move there, yeah. yeah. Good idea to get past one. That was really That's, nicely done. I mean, good defending by the defender, though, to kind of use your body, stop her either way. So props That's to correct. both sides. That's good. That's good. Michelle Hogan avoiding that turn to get burned, let the ball play out. Corner kick for Houston TTI, trying to get one into the back of the net here right before the half. 36-50 here in the first half, and here it is. That's a good block. Oh. They're dangerous on set pieces. They're very good at crossing the ball and getting numbers in. I mean, that's a that's a very good ball, and it caused a lot of trouble for the goalie. Yeah, Gabby Lopez unable to punch that one out. She kind of yeah. came out to try and get a hand on it, and they were just able to flick it just past yeah. her. It's hard whenever you know you're so close to the goalie. They can't build momentum to jump. They can't build momentum to get their hand on it with all the bodies in. So, props to her. Yeah, it looks like a uh, Isa Valdez and. Uh, Kelly Lofty. That's probably smart. That's probably a smart sub, right? Because the four is doing a lot of running, getting a lot of pressure. You know, fresh legs up there, put more pressure on and keep what's uh, what's working for the team. And it looks like Katie and Lofty, excuse me. Swapping out two old and mids, maybe? They're gonna, yep, that's correct. It looks like they're gonna put two mids in there and put Allison Fahey up there by the top on her own. And there's Fahey. Here comes Katie Ann Lockie. You know, I think that's okay. I like that, right? Now we can get organized and get pressure. Absolutely. And Nunes boom, out there to 50, recover. 50 ball. Decent switch by them. Don't know if they meant to, but good win. On a comp on there's Isabel Valdez. There's the, there's the physicality by Isabel Valdez, you'll see. She's been working off a ankle injury from the previous two games against Lone Star. Nursing it, there's Shelby Miller stepping up. Good looking ball. there for Allison Fahey from long distance. Looked like a deflection there by the defender. And it will be a goal kick for the Athenians. And another 
switch here looks like a little another substitution substitution for TTI I'm not quite sure yes see the player there at midfield now yeah I don't know I think uh, Fahey might have mishit that one if she was looking for Nunez over there on the left side right there streaking in well done Shelby Miller there with the ball possessing it doing so well she's doing so well keeping the game nice and organized for for the team that pass before she just broke that line, let it into the forward so that we can so that you know we can get a shot off. She's just very poised, very controlled. There's Isabel Valdez with the pressure. Ooh, good. Michelle Hogan there to recover. Pushing there's a physicality, there's a footwork Speed. by Michelle Hogan. And a bad slide tackle there by the TTI player. Here comes Michelle Hogan out to the wing. Little step over, shakes off one player into the middle. The Athenian's kind of staying back, it seems like, not really sending too many numbers up. Good job by Michelle Hogan to pressure the defender. Well, this is great, right? Because we're 40 minutes in, we're 1-0 up, but we're still getting pressure high up. It's not like we're up 1-0. They're still playing to, you know, continually win rather than, you know, playing not for them to score. So this is good to see. There's Allison Fahey again with the physicality. Takes off one defender. Back out to Michelle Hogan. And you're right. Now with you have Shelby Five Miller minutes, playing yeah, that center yeah. defensive mid, and now you got... Isabel Valdez pushing up. There's a, there's a slight advantage. advantage. Comes. The right call. Houston three on three. Let's see what TTI does here. Trina Ferguson, well good done. job there by Trina, staying with the player into the middle. Hey, Gabriela Lopez, Isabel Valdez there to cover. Save. That's what you want. Good job by Gabriela Lopez. Good save there. Defense is ruthless. Big save by the goalie. The center back gets that touch, but. The rest of the defense coming around, covering it up. Yeah, That's maybe a little good. Bit. Send no, it again. Good call there by the official. TTI wanting a penalty, but nothing being called. Played the Fahey ball. He keeps it in balance. Fahey's still there with the physicality, with that pressure up there. She is a bulldog up there. Good ball by TTI. Just a little bit too much. Offside. Well, size. well done, back yeah. line. But again, we can see what Isabel Valdez can do when you put her into the game. You put Shelby Miller back in that center defensive mid and Isabel into that center mid there. She'll drop right back and get those saves, cover the ground that's needed. Fisher, they're talking to Houston TTI saying, stop the flop. Both of those young ladies have already been flopping on the middle. No calls. I think she may be wanting to call there and you know, he's just kind of telling her it is what it is. Let's move on. Sometimes it's a tough, you know, if you're a forward, you're facing the goal and someone pokes it from behind, sometimes you automatically assume it's a foul. But the ref did great to get around the ball. He saw he saw the whole thing. It wasn't a foul. It was a good, uh, good decision from the ref. Throw in there. It's definitely a physical game down there, gentlemen. It's going to get a little bit tougher here as we keep on going. We're approaching here the 42nd minute of the first half. 1-0 to zero Athenians with... Looking at the score sheets, Ali Fahey's eighth goal of the season, putting her into a tie for second now for most. Fielded well there, played up to Fahey again. And that was Maggie Miller back there again. Here comes Katie Ann Lochte. A little bit too far for Katie Ann. But again, right there, Michael, number 45, Allison Fahey, as you said, right there to pressure. Michelle Hogan tracking back. Not going to call anything there. Going to let it roll out for a San Antonio Athenians goal kick. You know, if that was a foul, the linesman should have said it, right? The right. linesman didn't yeah, do the anything. Best point. Yep. Begs the question why they're going down so easily right now. Correct. Yeah, we're not used to seeing that. Like I said, we were talking before the match. Normally these girls stay on their feet if they can, you know, shoulder to shoulder, whatever. Could be a tactic. Could be saying, hey, let's try to get any cheap call we can. It could be the humidity. Maybe they're tired. Yeah, and that field be might awesome. be a little wet, too, from the rain. Yeah. And as always, the emotions are high in this game here. Yeah. Both ladies fighting for that second spot. Looking forward here. Using TTI, trying to move out, moving out to the wing, trying to get that equalizer there. You know, it's not a bad idea from the away team. The winger comes in and breaks that line and the fullback gets around. You know, it creates a lot of space, especially dragging out the fullback. So, I mean, it's not bad tactics by any means. There's Maggie Miller and Alicampa teaming up there to get the ball out for a TTI throw-in. We will pose Mexican team Tigres. 
Here comes CTI. Good job there by Maggie Miller to recognize. He's above all does on a comp on the ball. On a compa there, onto the defender, onto the midfielder there. Moving forward, good call there by Compa and Galan. It'll be another throw in for Houston CTI. Yeah, not letting her turn, you know, not giving her any space. That's what you want to see from your defenders back there in your own 18 area. You can see now with 43 minutes in, uh, we're dropping There's a, a lot through one ball in there. Oh, wow. What were you saying there, Michael, with 43 minutes I'm saying in? 43 minutes in, you see how the Athenians are thinking. We're dropping more numbers back to secure the half, you know, not taking any extra chances, get more defenders around the ball. And, uh, you know, close the half, go into the halftime saying, you know, let's make these changes and go from there. So. And coming into the game is a young lady with the speed and physicality, Nancy Bywater, coming in for Allison Fahey. One goal already this first half, 44th minute. One thing about this young lady that will impress you is the speed and the technicality she's got behind that ball. She will drop those shoulders and full locomotion, forward motion ahead. This young lady will impress you quickly here. Here comes Hayusa TTI with a throw and trying to tie one up here with one minute stoppage. Minutes. It'll be one minute stoppage time here, as we've been told. Yeah, we've seen it both ways. Sometimes they blow it as soon as we get to the 45th. Sometimes they allow a little bit of stoppage time. So referee going with one minute of stoppage time this half. Another Houston TTI throw down there in the San Antonio Athenians defensive end. See if they can hold on to it for the half. One Hogan minutes. not letting her turn. One minute. Well done. Good cover. Play That's great bounce. cover. Free tell them to move it back a little bit. A little bit more. <laughs> you know how it is, Michael, on those uh, throwing. They you get try picky get as much sometimes. As you can get. Yeah. They get real picky. <laughs> Here comes Houston TTI still into the stoppage time with one minute. Flicked trying on there. Get, Trina Ferguson trying to get one out. Anacampa oh. missing a swim there. Houston TTI with another opportunity here with one minute to go. Shakes off one defender into the middle. Clear Good out there by there Trina. By Nicole Galan. Oh, was that Christina Nicole? Christina Nunes swinging it out, trying to get the ball out. Now that was fantastic. Before that ball even got played in, Nicole was looking over her shoulder. She was aware of the numbers around. That was just great positioning, great center back. Quick throw in there by Houston TTI. Cleared out by Isabel Valdez. Houston TTI still with it, but Trina Ferguson in a battle down there into the middle. And that should wind down the half. And yep. that is it. Nice. Halftime here in San Antonio, Texas. We want to thank Michael Reed as our honorary commentator. I know you had a rough time out there in Colorado, but moving forward, who cares? <laughs> moving forward, and again, I'm not even going to spend much time on that, and I won't even write on it. Let's, get, let's play football. we got Sacramento ahead, but thank you so much for making the trip. And I know you had to come all the way over here spend time with us and commentate so michael reed thank you so much for being an honorary commentator hopefully you've been able to enjoy the first half man. yeah the first half's been very entertaining from both sides you know blue has some good attacking moments and then you see ours with the goal and you know you see the build up from the first minute all the way to the 45th and you know being a part of this with scott benji you guys are great i mean the camaraderie you guys bring is always fun to be around you guys so thanks for having me thank, thank you so you. much we appreciate it man yeah, we, we also want we know to you had to come straight from the airport so go home and get some r and r man uh, we'll do it after i'll do it we after. also want to thank uh, Chris Hockman, independent journalist. He's here with us down here. Uh, he does a lot of independent journalism for Trinity U, Trinity U, the voice of Trinity U, as we like to call him. He's out here viewing his first Athenian uh, game, so thank you, Chris, for coming out here. We will leave you with some short videos here for the half, and we will be back with you here in about 14 minutes. Keep following our pages, subscribe to our YouTube. All you gotta do is just click subscribe, all we need is 100 subscribers so that we can get our own YouTube channel URL so that next time we can just put it in there and you guys can just follow, follow yeah, us. Yeah, it's hard to find. So far, little recap here for the first half. Let's recap here real quick the first half. Scott, we'll start with you. First half thoughts. A lot from the Athenians. Very physical game, Scott. Yeah, always a very physical game. They came out a little flat-footed as we saw in the first 20 minutes. Houston TTI came out a lot more dominant, I think, in that first half of the first half. But... Allison Fahey, you know, with that speed, just able to get one past the keeper and put one in the back of the net. 
tonight, and that's how we now have the San Antonio Athenians up 1-0. And speaking on that goal, Mikey, bad communication between the keeper and the defense. The keeper had no choice but to come out. Good call, bad call, good decision. You never know. Well, it's one of those tough ones. It's an in-between the center back and the goalie, so whenever the ball is played initially, the forward's always like sniffing it out, but the uh, center back's thinking maybe it's too far back. The goalie's thinking maybe it's too far, you know. And so, great job from the goalie to try and come out, but uh, our forward is just too quick and fast, gets the ball around her, and she capitalized. Uh, correct, I agree 100% with you. Regardless, it's a quick, physical game. You can see the tempers flaring down there already. It's a fun first half. Let's see what the next 45 minutes have in store for us. This is one for the record books here. Absolutely. Both young ladies battling for a spot in the WPSL South Southwest Division to move on into the playoffs. Whoever wins this game will be one and two respectfully against Lone Star. A couple of things. Athenians announced they will be playing the Tigres of Monterrey in a friendly here in July. Also, San Antonio. Mike, you got Santos coming up here. We do, we do. Not uh, this weekend, but next weekend. Correct. After July 4th, so that'll be a fun game to see where we're at in competition and against some of the best teams. Two awesome international matches. It's not every day in a city that you can have two amazing international teams come in from Mexico, Liga MX, and play your team, your professional teams. It'll be a battle in Toyota, and it will be a battle here at Blossom. We will be back here with you in about 12 minutes. Thank you for tuning in to Soy Sap TV, and enjoy these video clips by uh, us that we've made here. And we'll be back with you here in 14 minutes. Mike, thank you. See you in the, in the second half, buddy. Sounds good.